Howdy friends, Wow Wagon here, and it is that time of year where it takes just a little bit longer to get ready for a ride. You can't just wear a jersey and bib. So today I wanna to tell you about two outfits that I like to wear in the late fall, early winter time. First, always check the weather. I love to use the hourly feature, but if I'm going on a route that I have already or a bikepacking trip, I like to use this app called Epic Ride Weather. Basically, it allows you to import the route either into the app or with, say, Ride With GPS, and you'll actually be able to see a play-by-play -play of your day based on the weather. It gives you wind, it gives you precipitation. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that the clothing I'll be wearing today is from Velocio. Not only is Velocio clothing top notch, they also sponsor the women's gravel team that I race for. Although the clothes are from Velocio, you can still find these types of clothes and many other cycling brands out there. First thing is first, we're gonna start with the Velocio base layer. Base layer is super important. There are sleeveless, they're sleeved, and they're long sleeve. Today we're rocking the sleeveless base layer. Next up are the Lux bibs. Oh, hold on. Before we put the bibs on, we're actually gonna put on our knee warmers first. It's a little trick of the trade where if you're wearing your knee warmers first, then the band at the top is in the right place. These are my favorite bibs. They're called the Lux bibs, and they are fly free, which basically means that as a lady, you can pull them down in the back and you can go to the bathroom. If you have your camel back on or you have 18 layers because it's winter, it, they are just the best. The next piece of clothing is going to be the jersey. And actually, just like the knee warmers, before we put the short sleeve jersey on, we're gonna put our arm warmers on. For our next piece of clothing, we're gonna go with this short sleeve jersey. It's the Concept Merino jersey and it is ultra fine wool. So it's nice and cozy. It's got some stretch to it. When you put it on, it's basically like a nice hug. So cozy. Okay, we have almost everything ready. The vest, this is the wind vest. This is my all time favorite bullet chip piece, like 100%, I love it. It is perfect for really cold weather and it's also perfect for not as cold weather. We've got our little triangle. Last but not least, gloves. I always wear long sleeve gloves. These are the Velocio Trail Glove. I would totally advise that you carry a ultralight windbreaker or some sort of layer if it gets really cold or if it suddenly starts to rain. So actually, I've been carrying it around with me in this bag. Convenient. Very small. If it gets really cold or say you're on a descent, or you do a long climb and you need something to keep you sheltered from the wind. This is a great jacket, super lightweight, and it actually folds up into itself. All right, we're gonna go with outfit number two. On top of the base layer, we are gonna put the Lux Bib Tight. So basically the same as the Fly Free, but it's got some reflective material on the back here and it is goes down to your ankle. So we're gonna put it over our socks. Yes, I said over. This is the Velocio Signature long sleeve. You can wear them as a layer if you want to wear a thicker jacket over them. And if you just don't wanna wear arm warmers then, wear a long sleeve. On top of the long sleeve, we're gonna put the ultra light vest. This one is actually a newer, updated version of the ultra light vest, and it has pockets. After the vest, we, with this outfit, are gonna probably need some sort of neck covering. We're gonna go with the thicker rain gloves this time. 
they're water resistant and they are big enough to go over the trail woods. So if you need a second layer, they're great. So this is the outfit I would wear down to maybe 48 or 47 degrees. Obviously these are approximates, depends on if you live in a wet or a dry climate. This is outfit number two. And now that I'm wearing all of this lovely kit, I am gonna go for a bike ride. Don't forget to like and subscribe.